Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Today. It's me, Ella. Today is October 16th. Um, my washer is filling up in the background, so I hope you can hear me. <laughs> it's just real off. I'm sitting here at my sewing machine right now sewing, and I, I wanted to go ahead and make one whole bag before I make the whole pile of bags. And I wanted to show you guys what the new ones look like. Um, just to get your opinion on them. I was going to make totes, but I ended up wanting to try something else. Because <laughs> how I've been lately. But, um, so I made a large zipper bag with a handle. And I feel like maybe this is too tall. I don't know. Too tall for the width or whatever. But, uh, so here it is. I put a project in it so you could see it. Project. <laughs> so it's got a handle inside and a tag over here. And it is a zipper bag. I put my uh, Just Feel Festive shawl in there, and it's pretty big right now, and it does have a box bottom, but my shawl is in there, and it's got a whole Premier bobbin on it, and then started the other Premier bobbin, and then the other parts of the bobbin are down in there. I round them up into balls. Uh, I still I wanted to stuff everything in there to see if a, a larger project would fit in it, and it does. So yeah, this is it. It's got a handle. I made the handle larger so that you can carry it on your wrist if you want to or just, you know, hold it. Whatever. And there's a tag right there. <laughs> just wanted, wanted to see what you guys' uh, opinions were. It is quilted, so it's uh, squishy. Of course, it's squishy now because there's yarn in there. But, you know, the non-yarn part is squishy. And, uh, yeah, this right here is a Nightmare Before Christmas one. <laughs> and I got a, some... Um, farm ones and chicken ones and some Christmas ones that I'm going to be making <laughs> for the shop. But what do you guys think of this um, shape? See, I made this one in 2017. This is made with a different kind of interfacing, so it's a lot more floppier. This is also one of the first zippers I ever put in, so it's put in really bad and the fabric is like coming away from it. <laughs> but this is just for me. Um, so it's, it's kind of the same concept, just uh, a little bit taller and skinnier. This is wider. This was made with um, two fat quarters on the outside and two fat quarters on the inside. But this is my very first zipper bag ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've improved. <laughs> I do still use that. Actually, that's what my shawl is in when it's not in this bag. I just stuck it in here to see, you know, if a big shawl project would fit in here. And it does. I like it. I, like it. Uh, I just don't know if people will like it. But, uh, yeah. So there's the very first one. I'm going to go ahead and make up the rest of them. Let's see here. I got a stack here of, I think, 28 or 29, including this one. That'll be going in the next update. And then I ran out of um, batting. <laughs> I bought a big, huge 10-roll spool on this big cardboard spool. And uh, I used it all up for these ones. So I got a bunch of Christmas ones. I think 11 left that I didn't have enough batting for that I put just in my stack of pre-cut bags <laughs> for the next shop update. And that, the, this, not this next one, but the one after that, probably uh, the beginning of November, there will be a shop update with tote bags, with the big handles, the bigger tote bags with the big handles. Um, I'm going to actually order this, this stuff on Amazon because you can order it on big uh, rolls. And uh, I need the big rolls because I use so much of it. I can go to Hobby Lobby, and actually I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and I got 10 yards of the black, which she had to just glob up for me. I had to get three yards of the cream color because I didn't have enough white. I wanted 10 yards of white, but I got all the white they had, and they gave me the spool, <laughs> the bobbin that um, they hold it on in the store. I don't know if she was supposed to do that, but she did, so I'm happy with that because now i got a cool bobbin thing I can use again. <laughs> but um, I'm going to order big rolls of it because I think uh, I found it on Amazon where you can order it in like 50-yard rolls, and I think that would be good because <laughs> for the, uh, the big totes, I need... Uh, it's about a yard for each handle to make them, sh you know, shoulder totes. Uh, I think it's 33 inches that I cut them to. So that's almost a yard. You know, a yard's 36 inches. So, um, you know, times that by two, times however many bags I make, that's a lot of yards of that stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking uh, that's what me and Devin was talking about recently is that I need to start buying bulk things like I did with my mailing things. You know, I got lots of labels and mailers and stuff. So I need to start doing that with... The batting, that's why I bought the big thing of batting this time. And um, the other stuff that he's made packs with. But uh, it takes money to do that. Because <laughs> usually in you know, a large quantity, the thing costs a lot. But it is worth it in the long run because it's cheaper per piece. But uh, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to hop on today and show you guys this new bag. It's got a crease on it. 
because I didn't I forgot to iron this piece <laughs> but it's okay because it's gonna get folded anyways when it goes in the mail <laughs> but um I think it's pretty good it's pretty large <laughs> it's hard I know it's hard to tell sometimes when people's holding stuff up because uh, depth perception but I mean this is my head and that's the bag it's pretty large I, I, it's cut it I cut it not it I cut it 18 by 14 so when you sew you lose about an inch uh, and then the zipper takes up a little bit of space so I'd say it, I don't have my measure thingy over here I'd say it's probably like 16 and a half tall by like 13 12 12 to 13 across but uh, yeah I like it so I hope you guys like it too because there's gonna be a whole bunch of them in the shop soon <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get to quilting I just wanted to make this one completely so I could see the design like in person <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and do all the quilting and um, start piecing them all together and I'm gonna sit here and watch YouTube videos while I do that <laughs> right now I'm watching Tracy at creatively Tracy and um, and I'm going to go through my whole watch later list probably today. My goal today is to get all the quilting done at least. And then Devin's off the weekend. So I probably won't do any sewing over the weekend. And I'll pick back up Tuesday. So these bags will probably be done. And in the shop this coming weekend. It's the 20 something. 24th I think. Whatever next weekend is. <laughs> I'll make a video and stuff. But I'm excited about these bags. I like the handle and all that. I'm just... I hope you guys like them. <laughs> but I'm going to go hop off, hop off here and get, um, get to sewing because I'm going to be busy all day. 